Okay, so there's this great program that I've been using for about a little, uh, little around a year now, and it's this program called DWM. And what DWM is, is it's a, uh, it actually stands for, uh, three letters stand for something. It stands for Dynamic Window Manager. And if you're not familiar with window managers, window managers are, um, you can kind of see the box around my head right here, or my face, but... Um, a window manager is, of course, what manages your windows on, you know, your system. So, of course, if I open a terminal um, or a bunch of other things, this is what's managing my windows. And DWM, what makes it special is it's a tiling window manager, which means it automatically tiles your windows like this. And, of course, it's a dynamic tiling window manager, which means you can dynamically change things and the order of things as well. So, in fact, there's actually, if I pull this up, there's a man page that you can read for DWM if you want to know how to use it. But I'm just going to show you the basics of it because it's a really, really neat program. So uh, first things first, um, DWM, what it, what it does do and what it doesn't do. DWM doesn't, it doesn't have, it's not like a desktop environment. You don't get like I, I, like icons on your um icons on your screen or like files that you can choose from all it does is it tiles what manages windows for you it also happens to have a bar up here that you can of course toggle with a key binding and that's really all about the uh, all, all it does it also it also handles uh key bindings too that's another thing uh the thing about dwm is that um you have a mod key in this case it's my alt key so Let's just say I hit Alt Shift, oh, Alt Shift Enter. That will pull up my terminal. And if I keep on pressing Alt Shift, Alt, Alt Shift Enter, it'll keep on pulling up terminals. I want to kill? If I want to kill any of these um, screens at all or terminals, I can just do Alt Shift C, and it will kill them one by one. Um, so that's uh, a little bit of how to create and kill windows. And of course, you can also create your own custom key bind or key bindings as well. For example, Alt P will bring up my program launcher, which is in this case is D menu, which I might make a might make a video on uh, some other time. Um, my web browser is bound to Alt W, and that will go ahead and actually start my web browser right here. So I can go ahead and exit out of that, and as well as a few other custom things, but. The base default key bindings are probably won't get go over today. So, uh, first thing you should know about DWM is unlike other window managers or even desktop environments, is DWM does not have workspaces whatsoever. Um, if you if you use I think i3 um, or any other um, or a few other window managers out there, they have workspaces, and DWM doesn't do workspaces. Uh, like, what DWM, what DWM has instead are tags, and there is a difference. At first, you might think, oh, you know, workspaces and tags work pretty much the same. And for the most part, they kind of do, but there are some differences. So as you can see, if I hit Alt-1, it'll bring me to my first workspace, which I'm already on. If I go Alt-2, it'll bring me to my second one, which is the workspace that I have my recording up on. Uh, alt three, alt four, alt five, et cetera, et cetera, and so you have you basically have ten different tags you can, do, you can use, and from alt one through alt nine or workspace or tag one through tag nine, there aren't workspaces here, um, and the difference between tags and workspaces is a workspace has its own separate windows or own separate processes, but a tag can. Uh, uh, multiple tags can have one same process, and I'll show you this. So let me open up a terminal right here. So right now this terminal is under tag 1. Okay, if I do Alt-Shift and then say 3, it'll move it from tag 1 to tag 3. And as you can see, it's in tag 3. So let's bring that back to 1. And one thing we can do is we can actually... Um, send this to multiple different tags. So let's just say I wanted to move this to all tags, one through nine. What I can do is I can do Alt-Shift-Zero 
and it will go ahead and put this terminal in every single tag there is. And of course, if I want to, you know, bring it out of a tag and just do Alt Shift and one to bring it back to one. There we go. And there's a few other things you do with tags as well, but um, that's very much the basics. Also, if you want to view all the tags at once, you do Alt Zero and it will pull up and it will give you all the tags you have at once, which is really nice. So I'm going to go back to Alt 1. And that's sort of the basics of tagging. There's more you can do with it, more in depth. But like I said, if you want, if you want to know more, you can just look at the man page. But um, another great thing about DWM is the way it actually tiles windows. So uh, the way DW, DWM works is that there's a stack. And basically, whenever you create a window, it adds that onto the stack. If you create a new one, it adds it onto the stack, and so on and so forth. So for example, if I have... Actually, let me put something on here, ls. So if I have if I have three separate windows, okay, um, they're each, <laughs> I need to bring my camera back. Um, uh, the first one gets added to the stack, the second one on top of that, and the third one on top of that. So the newest window should be, should have the most priority, which is this one right here. And the oldest one should have the lowest priority, which is right here. And so, of course, you know, you can see the stack in action. Um, so, of course, you know, I can, you know, add more windows. But um, one thing you can do with DWM is you can actually, you know, f um, focus. So, as you see, whatever, whatever my mouse hovers over is focused. But let's just say, um, let's just say my focus is on the window up here. If I do Alt J, I can move my focus between all my current windows. Um, and, of course, move it back. So... That's an important thing to know. Um, you can also, um, so that's focus. Uh, you can also um, add windows to um, the top of the stack and have multiple windows on the very top of the stack. So, for, so if I do, uh, ooh, what was it? Alt, Alt Shift I or no? Alt I. Yes. Now it brings two windows onto the master of the stack. And if I do Alt Shift Alt I again, it does that. If I do Alt D, it will take away Windows from the stack. And of course, oh, <laughs> there we go. We don't want to have zero, but yeah. So as you can see, the stack is uh, the way the stack works can somewhat be modified. But another thing you do with DW, DWM is you can have different layouts. So I actually have a few custom layouts installed. But if I do Control Alt and then comma. Uh, you can see this little icon up here changing, and it will actually change between all the layouts. But you'll notice that with the layouts, the order will actually stay the same. The stack never changes, it's just the way you view it changes. So if I do Alt Control and cycle between these, you'll see that it maintains somewhat the same order. Um, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of different um, things you can, uh, you can do with DWM, but um, another, another great thing you can do is um, actually, I'll actually go ahead and close these. But oh, <laughs> bring up my bring up my camera again. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, I'll actually go ahead and pull this up. It's um, DWM's web, DWM's website because uh, yeah, because. Um, if you, if you look at the website, you can get all this information, uh, a lot of information as well. Um, one thing that they make uh, very clear is that they don't want that many features built into it. Um, they want to make it as minimal as possible. And that's that's basically the goal of DWM. So there are a decent amount of features. What, what I've showed you right now is um, the majority of what I showed you right now are the base features, except for the different layouts, of course. But um, if you want to actually add more features, for example, if you want a um, oh a scratch pad like um, i3 has, for example, I do Alt tilde and bring up a scratch pad for me. Um, DWM does not have that by default. If you actually want that feature, um, if you actually want that feature, you actually have to go to patches, and there's just a list of all these patches, 
and you you take a patch and you apply it to DB, DWM because the way the, the way you actually use DWM is I would say the worst way to use it is to install it from your system's package manager. What you should do is you should download the source code, the DWM, and patch what you need and customize yourself, and you build it. Um, you build it to suit your needs and compile it and then use it that way. That's the way I use it, and that's the way everyone else uses it, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, there's all these different patches you can use. I think um, if I search um, scratch pads, yeah, this one right here. Uh, so yeah, it gives you um, patch files or diff files, and you basically take this and you um, use the patch command and patch it into the source code uh, of the entire program itself. And that basically keeps the system lightweight, fast, and just easy to manage in general. So it's um it's a very nice thing to have and are a very like nice idea, honestly. And that's that's one of the reasons I use DWM. Um, there's also a few, and there's more reasons than that, but that's one of the reasons. Um, and there's tons of patches. Really, if you're curious, just look at them, look at them yourself. I'll put the link down below in the description, but there are a lot of patches you can choose from. Um, in fact, a lot, there's a lot of features that aren't even in like big window managers. For example, um, I do, yeah, swallowing, which, uh, window swallowing, which is, uh, which it hasn't been in a lot of window managers for the longest time. I think just recently a lot of window managers added uh, is what swallowing is is let me open a new tag is let's just say I want to open um, a file in an image viewer so if I do pictures oh, pictures thumbnails I have these two pictures and usually if I were to run my image viewer um, if I were to run my image viewer right now it would open a separate window and keep the terminal open but with the swallow patch it'll actually just keep this window open and replace the terminal with an image viewer so that's actually a really nice thing to have so that's that's another reason i use dwm is because it has stuff like this or at least the ability to add stuff like this because like i said swallowing is not built in to dwm itself you have to patch it in but it's still really nice to have um but i mean besides that there's Honestly, tons of things about DWM that are great. Um, I just went over some of the few, but really it's up to you if you want to use it or not. That's all I have to say, so I'll see you guys later.